So what happens in the body? And first of all, we have already seen uh, a bit of an explanation of the chakra Charlie here. And what you will see here, let's just stop this for a moment. Um, this is the central nervous system, yeah? The central nervous system, this is the spinal cord, this is the brain, and the limbic area of the brain is quite important because I will talk about it later, lies within the brain in the middle, and this is a center for motion and motivation. So this is the central nervous system. What you will see next is actually the autonomic nervous system, which is also depicted here. So this is the left and right sympathetic nervous system, and the middle channel is corresponds to the parasympathetic nervous system. And the spiritual energy we have inside when we meditate actually passes through all these nerve plexuses. So this is the solar plexus, this is the, the cervical plexus, and it enters the limbic area of the brain. And when it enters the limbic area of the brain, we become thoughtless. All these different uh, chakras, they correspond to the nerve plexus and to the endocrine system. So, the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system are very important and they need to be in balance. So, in daily life, you're either in this what is called the fight or flight mode, you activate the right or the left sympathetic nervous system, one is important for action, one is important for inhibition. And you, in the night, you, when you sleep, you activate the parasympathetic nervous system. So this system relaxes and restores all the bodily functions, while the other one is important for daily activities. Now they have to be in balance. So if you think you can survive with four hours of sleep a day, then you're sadly mistaken. You pay later with your health for, for this habit. Because it is important that your body gets restored. So the sympathetic nervous system is activated in daily activities, and the more stressed you are, the more it is activated. So what it does, it supplies uh, maximum blood to all the muscles for the daily activities. The uh, stress hormones are increased. There is more, uh, the lungs, uh, the passages are dilated. You have increased heart rate, and if you're constantly stressed, it may actually affect your heart. And the, doing the rest, in the, uh, when you activate the parasympathetic nervous system, then the opposite happens, and you have a decreased heart rate. More blood is given to all the organs, which restores all the bodily functions which you've wasted during the day. Um, there is decreased activity of stress hormones, and the digestion is, is stimulated. So what research has shown, that meditation activates the parasympathetic nervous system more than rest. So that means you enter a state of hyper-rest, which is better than sleep. And this is, has been shown in many, by many studies conducted in India and in Australia. So what happens is there is a decrease in the heart rate, there is a decrease in the breathing rate, there is a decrease in pulse rate, in blood pressure, in oxygen metabolism, and this is anti-aging and there's a decrease in other physiological parameters of stress. And i show you a few examples. So this is the blood pressure in people who have, the controls is the red line, so these people doing 20 minutes rest, nothing really happens. These are people who have meditated for four weeks, so after 20 minutes of meditation only, the, the blood pressure goes down. And those who meditated for eight weeks have a stronger effect, and those who meditated for 12 weeks have a really strong effect. So in other words, if you have high blood pressure, you can reduce it by meditation. This is the heart rate. Again, the controls, and again, the more practice the people are in meditation, the more the heart rate goes down. This is, of course, very good. It protects your heart if you constantly have a reduction in heart rate on a daily basis. That's very good for you and, of course, all the other measures as well. This is a study by Dr. Chung from Philadelphia University, and she took people who had hypertension, and she gave them one week of intensive meditation. They had to meditate in a meditation hospital uh, every day for, I don't know, eight hours or so, and the blood pressure, the high blood pressure went down significantly uh, in the meditators, but not in the controls who were uh, getting normal treatment in a normal hospital. 
So meditation is far better, and only after one week you can reduce your hypertension, which is quite impressive. So in conclusion, the state of mental silence reduces sympathetic activity, and what it means, it enhances the parasympathetic activity, which restores, and it restores all your bodily functions and de-stresses the body. Now, another very curious phenomenon, which if you may have noticed, if you meditated with us for a while, and if you knew, you will feel it at the end when we have the meditation. When you achieve the state of mental silence, you feel a cool breeze on the hands and on top of the fontanelle area. And the fontanelle is called fontanelle because it comes out like a fountain. So this cool breeze is described in the Bible, for example. It's called the cool breeze of the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost, of course, means your own spiritual energy. And studies have actually shown that this isn't just something you imagine. Because sometimes people say, when we ask you, do you feel cool breeze? You know, they, they think they have to say yes to please you, or they think you're sort of suggesting it, and that's why they feel it. This is not true. Uh, studies have shown this is people during the rest period, and in the rest period, the temperature of the hand actually goes up a little bit. That's normal. But in meditation, the temperature goes down significantly. And this has been shown on the hands and on the top of the head. And some people, I feel it on the feet, for example. So I think it uh, can also be on the feet. So, in conclusion, the Hatha Yoga meditation activates the parasympathetic nervous system and this restores your bodily functions. Now, what about the brain?